Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick Levin Space, and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. This is uh, episode 33, and we're going to work on this thing. Obviously, you can see some changes. Obviously. Um, no current updates just yet. Uh, doesn't seem like... I don't know. I'm in the... Oh, let's go to the road map. I don't know if you guys can see this. Probably not. Um, but it does. It says they have a version 0 .7, 0 .0, 0, which basically means that there's going to be an update soon. So hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of stuff and it fixes it or something like that. That'd be awesome. Uh, anyway, so I can show you what I've done to it so far. It's kind of like the workshop, what I do behind the scenes kind of so all right let me just bring it out it is not on hey how's it going what's up so sadly though before i do anything sadly i wasn't able to stream star citizen i was really bummed about that and uh i mean it happens sometimes the internet and everything has to collaborate but anyway uh i might do a private stream just so it's just me and then i might release that video so that might be for tomorrow so i suggest stay tuned because there might be a stream it won't be a live stream but it will be a stream <laughs> it'll be like a recorded video but unedited so you won't see any crazy crap so you guys know number one does the things so okay let me take this off so what I did with the landing legs is that they actually go inside the other landing leg and come out so it doesn't touch at all and it sits up just enough for that <clears throat> and which gives me to this point I can now click on this and you're probably like oh no it's gonna hit it no it doesn't you can actually land and close the legs in this position which is so much better so so much better and the best part boop i added land or i added wheels so now as of right now you can actually fly this like a plane but you have to do exactly what i did first and that was uh hit your oh uh, hit your yeah you just, you just gotta make sure all the wings are going the same way because sometimes it will do that. But uh, let me turn off the RCS and I have it to where all the... So you can drive it, all right? It, it, I mean, it's not a suggestion. There's a lot of torque in the front end, by the way. That's what you're hearing. That's what you're hearing. It's just a lot of squealing. So I need to put the uh, traction a little bit higher and that's what we're gonna kind of be working on as of right now, but let me tell you what, this thing can take off. And it is awesome. So at 100 meters per second, go ahead and pull up. Boop, that's simple. There goes your wheels, and now you're a plane. A lot easier to control like so much easier to control it's actually a lot slower that way uh, it's not as insane now we're flying upside down Whee! okay so just to show you guys that I can land and I did put these I put two of them and I also put them lower so that way they can really move the ship a little easier and maybe we'll try some uh, re-entry. Maybe. Maybe. So cool. Love it. Thank you, babe. All right. Now we just got to turn around. Nice, sharp bank turn and obviously
obviously we're not in line with it. Oh, wrong way. Let's get nice and low. I forgot to put like a marker there to tell me where it's at so I could come back and land to it. So this will actually be the marker. And I also got it to actually hover, guys, so I'll show you that too once I get it to the ground. And yes, I am that confident that I will get it to the ground. Maybe, maybe not in one piece. We shall find out. <laughs> we shall greatly find out. Who said the opportunity rubber was dead? Oh. Yeah, I feel like there might just be some dust on it. And it might just go away. It might just pop back on at any second. Oh, kind of need a little... A little thrust there. You don't want to go under 100 meters per second. Gets a little squirrely. So we can just slam on our brakes right now. Oop, wrong way. Ooh. Kind of off the landing pad a little bit. Still slammed on the brakes. I wonder what's going to happen when the wheels hit this. Uh-oh. Are the wheels going the opposite way? Yes, they are. They need to go that way. Oh, wait. I need to turn off RCS when you land because that's your steering. But... <laughs> so, maybe we need to tighten the traction just a little bit more. So, let's go ahead and undo that. They gave up. Yeah, they basically do. I don't know how to... Uh, make them any any better where are the wheels uh this is the front end okay oh forward traction okay <laughs> nope wrong one uh 2000 5000 no let's bring that down to 2000 as well okay uh, yeah, I gotta show you the hovering part. Yeah, the hovering part is cool. Hovering part is cool. Hit your space bar till the keyboard breaks. <laughs> it flies proper. <laughs> nah. Nah. Okay, so my goal is let's go land over in that on that landing pad over there. So let's go ahead. RCS is on. I'll just do this just in case anybody wants to see it. Uh, okay. So activate engines and we're going to bring the thrust to weight ratio up to one. Like literally just one. Yeah, there you go. As close as you can get to one, and then you can literally use it as a hover mode. Obviously, there's no like forward propulsion unless you hit target, and then you kinda you kind you kinda get the gist. You go into translation mode, and it brings up the. Now I'm going backwards, so <laughs> you can see that it still needs a lot of work right now, but uh, wow, okay, and uh, control it, control it, <laughs> it's always controllable. <laughs> Always controllable. And I also added a shit ton of shoots and four big ones. Four Gigantors. Oh, apparently, those didn't. Nope, they're the same size. Okay, okay. But yeah, it drops at 20 meters per second, so you can only. Even if you want to, you could actually figure out what your RCS is. And then come in here like yeah hit E 
and you will probably slow yourself down on the moon, maybe? I don't know. I downloaded version 1, and it's way more controllable than the other planes that people make. Thank you. Thank you very much. It may not be, like, super insane right now, but, I mean, you're dropping from 2,000 meters. Let's see. Wait, why don't I have any control at all? Like, I lost full control. That was... I'm not even controlling the wings anymore. What? Oh, translation mode. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it right before it touches the ground. And... Goodbye. Nope, it's still dying. Oh, oh. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I couldn't do that again if I tried. <laughs> All the controls were backwards. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, that was that was crazy. Okay. Every other plane I used to crash in like thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I I apologize for them. Um. So, let's go. Uh, if you guys want me to build, like, just a simple, tiny plane, I am down for that. Uh, I did add these things right here. It comes in handy if it can drop that far to the ground and not get damaged. So, you might want to have, like, a, a shell underneath when you drop, like, the McRover or something. Or just something like that. So, uh, let's see... How much? Oh shit, I rotated it a different way. There we go. Let's see how much this puppy can actually handle. Uh, you can d just dock somewhere in it, man. I mean, that works too. <laughs> That works. Let's try the new ones. I don't even know how much it weighs. <laughs> uh, oh, it only weighs 100. Okay, hold on. Let's tinker it. Let's make it weigh... 300,000 each? Or five? Let's go five. Let's go for like a, a million kilograms right now. So 450. 450, 505. Okay. Everything is the same. Let's see how much this thing can lift. Ooh, it just barely covers it. Nice. We're going to try to get that empty fuel to space. How cool would that be? If you tried to... Wait. What if you tried to build a Mars station with that? Ooh. I could, and I could bring multiple things. What I actually might do is remove the big one and just keep adding small ones let me know in the comments and see if that's a if that's a good idea if I should just change it to more so that way if you do get out of control you can actually hit the parachutes and it will bring you up right side up and should have your land really softly I don't know you know what I'm just gonna change it anyway and I hear some ruckusing going on outside the room okay so this should be doubled Oop. okay yeah it's doubled okay let's get them even as possible so hopefully guys I will come out with a star citizen video that will basically just kind of give you the short end of it that it's gonna this is gonna look terrible all right it's gonna it's gonna clip for sure uh, but yeah I really want to get you guys to see that uh, if I absolutely can't do it I'm telling you guys right now hit me up on discord and I will gladly show you guys or show one person at a time or in a group 
of Star Citizen. So let me know down in Discord if you guys want to see it, and I will get to it. Not get to it. I will get to you and message you and say this is when I'm available, and I'll be on blah 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 blah, and you'll be able to see it before you buy it and I'll be able to talk to you you'll be able to ask me questions about it and literally if you say I want to see this you will see it so hopefully I didn't change my aerodynamics probably because it's just blunt forces um, <laughs> might add like a little nose cone maybe like in a little umbrella type thing that'd be kind of cute Okay, so we got a big payload, a whole bunch of parachutes. What was the other thing? Um, I forget the other thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and go. So what would you guys... Like, what upgrades do you think would benefit this craft? Is what I want to know. Like, literally let me know if you guys want to see, like... Obviously, it has wheels now, so you can land it like a plane. Like, whoa! Okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you do it too early. Uh, mm, whoops. Don't you want to challenge yourself on building landing gear? Um... I did? I mean, wouldn't you consider that landing gear? And this? Boing. Drop that down. And... Wait, nope, 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 nope. Yep, just hit one. And... Whoa! Whoa! Them wheels, though. Can anybody help me with this problem right here? Why these are just breaking. <laughs> hey, just join. What are you making? Uh. Oh, sure. Just joined. Okay, a lot of people just joined. So, we're working on the mixed starship right now uh just added a shit ton of parachutes those aren't guns let's see if they all go off nice <laughs> did the center ones go off yeah they did okay sweet all right so i just want suggestions right now from the people who have made planes or anything on this issue right here is my plane too heavy or is my plane is my ship too heavy can it even roll right now? I mean, it can roll for sure. No, it can't. It can't roll for shit right now. It used to be able to roll. No, I broke the landing gear. Crap, we have to figure out something. Maybe too much weight. Need more wheels. That could be a good thought. Hmm. Can make him bigger. <laughs> make him giant? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, wheel size, brake torque, tanker panel. I really didn't do anything in tanker panel. I did do part collision, so it wouldn't. So let's just do default and see what happens with them. They're probably going to explode, and this thing's just going to eat and bite the dust. that That's my guess. Park collision. Never. Always. Or default. Default. Okay. So let's try that, because... Just jumped into the stream with no context leading up to seeing this monster. <laughs> yeah, it kind of catches people's eye. Uh, okay, so... Actually, you don't need your really landing gear. You can just drop the wheels. That looked very weird. 
literally just got straight stuck right there. Like they get, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are like broken right now. Oop, if I can see. Yeah, they are definitely broken because that's normal. That's where they should be is nine. Or something. It shouldn't be like that. Anyway. Oh, shit. This is probably going to break. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to move this slowly. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh my god. See, they're like freaking out. I wonder if it's that attachment. Maybe. Maybe. Like, dude, they're tweaking out. Oh my god. It could be the weight inside. I don't know if it's used to weighing a million. That could possibly be it. That could very well possibly be it. Do some some surgery over here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Part collision, never. Okay, so let's put that to default. Oop, that's always. Got to go all the way over here and do the same thing. Default. All right, let's see what happens. Boom. <laughs> Matt inches of ground clearance. Yep. Very, very slim. Slim pickings over here. Oh, I mean, it's what's happening. This is probably why most people give up on like wheels and everything. Cause I, I mean, I could, I could totally see why. I could totally see why. Cause that's annoying as shit. All right, so make sure all the wings are flying correctly. If you really, really want to make it easy for you on a takeoff, put them at 60, or no, I'm sorry, 80%. <laughs> You'll literally just start flying, I think, at like 20 or like 50 or something like that. Just give yourself enough to. There's 20, 30, 40, 50. I haven't taken off yet because like wow is it just gonna like glue itself that's insane whoa I don't think that that was a good idea nope <laughs> probably not okay could you do like 50 wheels then rename it the millipede <laughs> that would actually be really funny and that would actually uh, that would be really funny definitely need more wheels to help hold the weight okay all right time to figure out how difficult it's going to be to add new wheels to this thing Oop, wrong wrong bay <laughs> there we go okay so when it goes down it goes flat so i guess just Oh no. There we go. There's you can't put anything on the other end of that. Hmm. Can you? Ooh, you can. Don't know if it's gonna be even. Uh let's see. Hold on, let me get a different angle. to 
be like there, yeah. Okay. Ooh, it can. All right. So, wait, where is it? Oh, damn it! It's hooked on. It's hooked on this. It's not hooked on this. Okay, so I gotta rework the. All right. How? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's see if this if it can even get the payload, and then we'll rework the wheels. Because obviously the wheels need to be done, but let's see if we can take a million kilograms to a low Earth orbit. And maybe even back down. But anyway, in three, two, one. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think a million's gonna be like maybe the max. That's probably why it's been, like, dying. This is 100%, guys. Do you guys know how powerful this thing actually is? So, yeah. So let's get some forward momentum going on. And bust it into plane mode. Nope. Nope. Just straight nosedive. Oh, come on. Pull up. I'm trying. Pull up. I'm trying. It's not going to make it. I know. <laughs> uh, it, I tried. I tried. Uh, okay. So obviously, it can't handle a million kilograms. So that probably is going to be the answer to our wheel situation. So let's lower this. We already did that, so let's go 300 each. Wait, what was that at? 270. So th six. Bleh, almost, almost totally messed up. Um, <laughs> 600,000 kilograms as a payload so that is a lot of opportunities I think it can already do 200 or 400,000 I think to a low earth so first thing how do we know it's gonna make it is the thrust to weight ratio <laughs> and 100% and 3 2 1 Ooh, 1.8 Odds are not promising for this, but actually, this one looks a lot better. So let's make the trans let's make it transform slower, so that way we build up more speed instead of upward momentum. I, I can't think of that. I just had a brain fart. All right, so we're at 100, 150 sideways. Should be good to pull on up. Yep, all good, all good. And then you have 1.7 seven hours of burn time, and which don't even go off that, literally just go off the 99% because this is all not accurate because I tinkered the shit out of this thing. So if you guys do, if you guys have seen this, then yes, obviously. First stream I managed to catch, awesome, cool, man. Sweet stuff. All right, let's fast forward this. Now you can fast forward and fly it. That's how. That's how more stable this thing is. Ooh, kind of fast forward. Ah. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> fast forwarding's a little sketchy. <laughs> Obviously, you can fly nice and straight. It just needs a little help. Is RCS on? It should be. Ooh. Pull up. It is very heavy. It is a very heavy payload. 600,000 kilograms. That is a heavy payload for this thing. Ooh, not 
Not up, not up, not up, not up. Go down, go down, go down. Go down. Nope, nope. And she's gone. So 600,000 is definitely not the right payload. I do believe it is 200,000. Can we download this craft file? Yes, you can, but it is old. The one craft on there is old. So I don't know if I can update it. Or I might just rename this one the Mick Starship. I think that one's called. I think it is called the Mick Starship. But um, but yeah, you can download it. And but I did upgrade a lot of things before I did that. So all right. So let's go in here and make it its normal weight of a hundred each. So it would be 200, roughly about 250 kilograms, I would say. I'm not saying that's the exact number, so don't, don't even, don't, don't even like quote me on anything. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> okay, let's figure out. Let's do it a good. Let's do it the normal way for those of you just joining. And then you bring down the landing gear. You can pop these sideways. Let's go ahead and try to try to land on the landing gear this time. Ugh, here we go. Ugh. I mean, it's not as bad. I don't know why they are rotating right now. Uh, like, literally nothing is on right now. Nothing. Why are these freaking out? The RPMs are just... Rawr! Current RPM. Um. Okay, go forward. You're supposed to drive like a car. You are not driving forward. Oh, the brakes. Are you driving? Okay, yes. It drives very slowly. I don't know why it's... There we go. It's kind of... Off. It's like... Yeah, I want to just turn right now, which... The wheels are straight, may I remind you. The wheels are straight. Unless the front are, like, totally messed up. I feel like that one's the one doing it. Uh, let me check that. Because that just looks so messed up. Uh, yeah, I actually tried to make these go vertical, like rotate straight up and down. Um, one, it gets in the way of the cargo bay if it's straight up and down, or uh, when you're going straight up and down, the center of mass is off a little bit, and I mean, that center of mass is probably as close as you can get, and then if you want to see the plain version... And then, that's how that is, so... Oh, the weight is so far down. That's why it should be way up in the center. So that would be the issue to why that is not holding it. So, open. Come on, connect. Why do you gotta be like this? It's always gotta be like this. Nope. Actually, if that works, I'm in. Alright, I'm in. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Alright, so now you can see that the uh, good old thing is a little higher, but it should handle a hell of a lot more better 
better. Okay. Uh, alrighty, so how I did this last time, how did I do this last time? <laughs> These need to be rotated. This way. Okay. So we will come out every single time with the landing legs out. And it's easy to rotate them back, obviously. Okay. Now time to mess with the schwills. So rotation. Zero, negative, 90... 90, okay. Zero, 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 okay. What was, what's the problem? <laughs> Seriously though, like what is the problem? Is this off? Uh, well, no, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. Because the wheel's straight, that, uh, that could be turning at a messed up rate. Okay, or we could just turn the torque down and the RPM at at least 100. This at okay, we'll do a thousand and two hundred. So let me do the same down there. So two hundred and bam, a thousand. All right. So what's the wheel speed? Isn't there okay? Motor torque. See, I feel like. I need to put this all the way down because it's overdoing the torque, maybe? I don't know. We'll try that. We'll see if that works. Alrighty. Everything looks normal-ish. And uh, definitely the first thing that needs to be handled is them wheels. Because them wheels are the most important thing. Ooh. I mean, they're still rotating? They stopped. It's like it's vibrating super quickly. Is it this? Ooh, hang on. I might have just seen it. What'd you try? Have you tried dropping the huge ass weights out of the cargo pay and drawing to take off yet? Oh yeah, yeah. This thing takes off very fine. I'm just doing it with weight, and that's where I run into a problem. Oh, it's these. Okay, so tanker panel. Nothing is. Everything's default. What? Is going on with it. It just doesn't make any sense why it is freaking out. I mean, part collision, we can put that one on never. And maybe that will be better? Question mark? It's just gonna eat right through it and just hit the ground right when I start. Oh god. Moves by itself because it's no braking torque. Ah. Uh... Yeah, they're still going a little nuts. Nope, nope, I don't want RCS on. I was going forward. This one's going forward. This one's going backward. It's literally... It mirrored it. I didn't know. Oh. That's why it's all funky. I mean, it literally just took off and flew in the beginning. So any upgrades that I do, I always have that nice, new, fresh copy right there. So, okay, all tread is pointed in that direction. 
This is reversed. This is normal. That's normal. That's reversed. Okay. And then... I don't see why... I mean, there's the braking torque. 1,200... Static. Uh, invert on mirror. Ooh. Should that be triggered? I feel like it should enable, then... If enabled, then... Settings will be flipped to the part that is mirrored to be to the other side. Yes? Oh, well, well, no, no, we don't want that because then it mirrors, yeah, okay. Let's hit no, so it mirrors this one. And then what did this one not have? Brake torque of a thousand, okay. So let's see if this works now. Okay, so don't freak out. No, nope, it's already freaking out. All right, so next would be to try with no payload weight. So does it move? No. Okay, good to know. All right, forward, ahead. It can roll. That's good. That's all I actually want it to do is right now is roll. To get up to 100 meters per second, and woo! That should have been. Why is it opposite now? <laughs> so, this is when you go into here, and you look at the wings because you're like, why the hell is it doing this? One's inverted, one's inverted. One's, in, one's not inverted, one's inverted. Okay, shouldn't be any problem. I think you have to hit the engines first, maybe, to start. So let's go engines on, basically. Yeah, yep, nope. Nope, the back is still, still doing its thing. I don't know why that is. Very, very strange. So we're going to go back to the recent upgrade, which has been just the weight and everything. Or not the weight, it was just, uh, where is it? The McStarship 2, poof. Okay, so it was just the parachutes. That was it, really. Now, I want to make, I want to look at the landing gear to see if it's fine. If it's fine, then there shouldn't be a problem. Brake torque. Yeah, there is no problem with the wheels at all. Yeah, and the wings are fine. Everything's fine. So maybe I would lessen the torque on that, I guess. I don't know. It's the only thing moving this thing quickly. So I'm going to put... Uh, let's just go. It's got so much torque, it's squeaking right now. That's crazy. Oh, wait, we already took off. Kachink. Flying low and slow. So I'm actually just gonna upgrade the parachutes and we're gonna test that. See if that even helped it. I mean, you could always turn RCS off and you will fly. Oh, now it was off, my bad. Yeah, you can turn RCS off. It can't fly like a plane and how it should be flown. But yes, so much more agile. <laughs> 
So much. Okay. All right, so let's add the parachutes. And let's try those. So let's get rid of that. Let's go one. Oh, it just barely reaches. So one. Whoop, not that one. Nah, I like this better. Have them tucked in. Uh-oh. I think there was two shoots on top of a shoot, so. Might as well delete it, right? Yep. Bam. Okay, and this one. Nice and easy. What the hell? Okay. Uh, <laughs> instant regret. Um, all right. So there we go. We got all of that on. So let's test it and then we'll save it. So what's going to be the mission for this ship? Um, everything. Literally everything. Uh, my plan is to be able to, uh, I mean, this is still the shell. It's going to look different. Like, obviously everything, like the engine things are going to change, like not the look, but they're going to be inside of like a shell. So it's going to have the look, but it's not going to, uh, look like this. I still have yet to work on that, the cosmetics, but. For right now, let's test the shoots. Jesus, that's a lot of shoots. I want to see what they do. Oh my gosh, they make like a a super umbrella. It literally covered the whole entire craft. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that is going to be enough shoots. They're just hitting the ground around it. it. Whoa, that's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and drop the landing gear. Check to see if everything is working. Number two's bay, or is the bay barely misses the ground. So if you want, you can drop something and drop something off if you wanted to. Bring the little winglets up. Drop the wheels down. Drop yourself down. I'm actually going to slow that down. So. Oop, I didn't want to. I, I wanted to hit the engines instead. Okay, so we could probably go up even earlier. Nope, 100 meters per second is the key. And 25% throttle, nice, nice. Okay, so I mean everything's everything's working now. So let's see what the uh, see what the parachute or ordeal is. Oh yeah, lots of shit going on here. All right, and just say like emergency drop this would be the way to do it Oop, try to keep it even I guess slow the speed down Oop, my RCS ain't on try to keep the head up I mean we probably could land this thing just like this which would be even cooler. Always time for a test, guys. Always time for a test. It kind of falls lightly, too. Just because of, like, the wings, I feel. Like, just because of this wide one, it falls nicely. See what 
happens if I do this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love it right when it right when it touches the ground, it just like implodes and it just goes everywhere and it's insane. Uh, okay. Let's have one more attempt, but with the shoots this time, so straight up. Something's a little too far forward still, so I'll figure that out. It is going hard to the front. All right, so 3,000 meters, let's see. Let's go ahead and build up some vertical speed. Going down. And say lift up and landing mode, basically. Ooh. Obviously, there's a flip. There's always got to be a flip. And parachute. 2018, 16, 15. Ah, oh, I was thinking like 10 or 5 or something. Ah, oh, that would have been awesome. So by the time those are all out, I want to see... If I don't need any thrust at all. Ooh. Ooh. I, you can. You can, but that is a rough. That is a rough landing. That is a rough landing. Okay, so. Hmm. What else was I going to fix before... I got distracted. It was something about... Oh, the landing legs being slower. That way when it's like, when it hits the ground, or when the wheels hit the ground, they don't have like, like kaboosh, they don't have so much pressure, it eases into it, like deployment speed. Damn it! It's already as slow as it could go. Holy shit. Well, that doesn't make life easier. I feel like you should make that go, like, super slow. But, alright. Um, hmm. I think we are all good for version 2. Oh, for version... Point zero, or oh my gosh, for zero point two. I've, uh, where is okay? Bring open that up for a second. Nope, I need to be over here. Probably like, what in the world is he doing right now? Thrust weight ratio, or not thrust weight ratio? Wow. Um, see, I can't get closer. And it looks like it's actually going to the back a little bit. Like, just a little. Like, just a fart. Just a fart. Uh... Oh, giant white wall, where are you? Oh, that's not it. There you are. That is my weight distribution. What the hell just happened? Uh. That, oh wait, no, 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 no! I'm not in plane mode. I forgot. I was like, wait, what just happened? Like, what the heck's going on? Okay, 
So that thing needs a little less weight. You could just barely see it. The red is just over on this line. Just hair. Oh my god, that changed it so much. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so let's see. What would be... Oh, shoot, that was too far. Okay, it's on zero. Hmm, it's like it's not changing. Or am I blind and it's... Yeah, it's like it's not changing. Huh. Okay, so let me zoom out real quick. It needs to go just a little bit that way. Nope, too far. Way too far. How did I change that last time? And actually, what am I changing? I feel like I just changed the wrong thing. Nope, yeah, it needs to go up more. Still. Okay, so let's change it to 0.1. 19. Oh, wow. Nope, that's why. That's why. It's going down. no way to like change it to make it so it's working oh crap um okay hmm <laughs> weight distribution gotta love it Okay. Maybe point three. Point three, maybe. Do, do I click on something else to make it happy? Or no? Nope, nope, doesn't work. Okay. Um. I don't want the landing gear. Yes, this thing has gyros now. Just so you guys know. Whoa. Oh, I need to turn this way, go this way, zoom in. Keep zooming in. Oop, I out zoomed. Darn it. Or I miss zoomed. There we go. Oh, it's just slightly off, and it's like such a pain in the butt. Such a pain in the butt. the slightest oh wait it's on like point one let's do point five doink it probably angered it did it anger it or did it help it question mark I don't know I can't really get a good view of it. It's just in front of it now. So what we're going to do... I'm going to try to get it so I can zoom in. 
very close on it. Without it being a butt. Okay, that is what I need. Alright, so... Let's go... 12. Nope, didn't check it. Let's go 19. Nope, didn't check it. Okay. Let's go 25. Nope, didn't check it. Why isn't it... Uh, okay. Another test run. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to... I don't know, I feel like that was the same... ...issue I was just having. And obviously if I do this, it's too much. If I do that, it's too much. Hmm. It's like a very, very happy medium, and I hate it with a passion. So let's go to 20, or 19.2, zoom out, zoom back in, come into here, do... Do something else, maybe click on a new part. Is that gonna reset it? No, no. Oh yeah, that did, okay, cool. All right, we're learning. We're learning the ways of the interesting. <laughs> Shit, I unselected that part. <sighs> okay. So you can see what I do when it's like off camera or off live and yeah this is, this is what I'm doing. We're playing Star Citizen right now. Again if anybody wants to n see Star Citizen let me know and I will screen share it with you privately or in a small-ish group. Oh, that is like that is like on it right there. If that if that ain't gold, then then I quit. No, I'm just kidding. Close. And then okay. So I wasn't looking at. Wow. Well, okay, I wasn't looking at the stream. I was making a sandwich right now, so. So if I burn it, it's your fault. <laughs> Between math, I work while I watch and music and not relax. Nice. That could have ended so badly. <laughs> so badly. Oh, wait, actually. We need to test that here. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, okay. Definitely a lot better. Definitely. Great A right there. Alright, so we're going to get up to 2,000 or equivalent to 2,000. And we're gonna drop from here. So let's go ahead and see if this works. I want it on zero. Get our thrust to weight ratio above one. Right in between one and eight. So nine.
Alright, cool. So it's a little rough right now, but uh, everything's working. So actually we want that. We can get rid of the landing legs. We're a go for ra cha uh, yep. Take off brakes. Uh, why is that wheel just straight? Oh, it's locked. Okay. That makes better sense. How to get around quicker. There we go. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to turn. Those aren't big enough, and the wheels are, like, broken. Yeah, the wheels are broken. All right, let's get up. <laughs> Let's put them in. And you're good to go. You're you're flying. At 124 meters per second. Probably even go lower. Alright, my goal though is to go back and land on the strip. So, let's go ahead and get some speed forward. A little bit of altitude, too. And if you just bank it, honestly, guys, you can actually... Just, uh, it will turn it for you. Slowly, if you just want to make small adjustments. But obviously, if you want to make big. Pitch that sucker to the side. Hold D. And gun it. Yeah, not like hitting Mach 4. Or something like that in two seconds. <laughs> RCS is not on right now. So we are technically what you would say in plane mode and breaks right when I hit the landing grounds. Okay, so might have to get of it a little bit more throttle because we kind of just almost stopped right there. So you're, you're probably like McLovin, that's the you know, that's not the landing pad over there. I said, yes, I know. Watch. You can just slowly bank it. And look, you even have iron sights for those gun fanatic people. <laughs> you got two little prongs you line up, and there's your front of your ship. And then I thought this was a good idea. And then, bam, you just level your ship out and make small adjustments from there. So you kind of line those two up and you're you're almost good to go. Actually actually we need some we need some more boost. About 7.65 thrust to weight ratio boost. <laughs> okay, let's go very far down. And then Ooh, meant to go down. <laughs> and as you can see, the cockpit did survive. <laughs> it's connected to here. Uh, okay. I should have, you know, done that a little better. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. That was a my fault. So, let's redo this again. Just drop it. Just act like you're in a hurry right now. Already at 100 meters per second. You are gone. Especially if your payload is light. <laughs> Like, 
what is he doing right now? What am I doing? Doing a U-turn. Oh shit, it probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Whoop. Either way, that works. Going nice and fast. Not really, not right now. Let's go to Mach 1. Yeah, Mach 1. Yeah, the pretty little lights at Mach 1. Okay. Let's go ahead and do what we did last time and line up our ship. Let's this time get lower. Like, way lower. See, I did. I, I hit S instead of W. I should have hit W. I think it. Come on, I'm just trying to barely tap that thing. Oh, I can't even see the uh, the landing pad. Can't even see it. Okay, there it is. You can kind of turn just by like turning the craft. You, see, you saw how I did that. I mean, let's go a little bit faster. I mean, it's nice that you can fly at a hundred meters per second. Again, just line up that s those crosshairs once you get I would say about yeah I'd say about right here just kill the engines the brakes Do that to actually. Ooh. Slow yourself down. Just in time for that turn. <laughs> Just in time. Look at that. And then you can turn around. Uh, can it... Is it like just in time? Like literally just in time? Ooh, if it wasn't sliding. <gasps> uh, okay, cool. Awesome. We did it. We took off and landed. Awesome. That is sweet. And really cool, actually. So I'm gonna go land this thing, or not land this thing, I'm gonna go park this thing right here. And I'm gonna use this as a marker. And next stream, we will, I guess, learn about deorbiting with this thing. We're gonna try to make this thing deorbit as best we can. And hopefully, uh, Hopefully everything goes as well. Whoop, not slider. Wow, wrong slider. Definitely wrong slider. That could have been so bad. <laughs> like literally, is this thing this heavy? Damn. Come on, just get to the launch pad. I'd say that's good enough for me. Put out the landing legs. 
so this is our first successful takeoff and landing ship both ways vertical and non-vertical with whoop, don't want even that don't even want that remotely on that's why <laughs> so yeah it was pretty cool uh Hopefully it's not going to look the same. Uh, if you guys want me to... Obviously, I think I should keep doing this stream until this thing is built. Um, yeah, just let me know if any suggestions in the comments that you want to see. Uh, I think that right now, as of right now... Um, Everything's good to go. The landing gear works. Both landing gear work, actually, I should say. Vertical lifting and vertical going down works. Takeoff on the runway works. So, so far, it's not bad. I would say payload weight, keep it light. Keep it simple. And, uh, and yeah. Keep it light, keep it simple. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also... Don't forget to check out the Discord, because if you're not already in the Discord, then you had no idea I tried to stream Star Citizen yesterday. Uh, I tried to stream it. It literally just crapped out on me a couple times. I looked at my graphics card and the PC, and my PC in general. Had like a bunch of updates, so that could have been the reason why. So I'm going to investigate that tonight. Maybe I will get a live stream video for you. Or, or a live stream recorded video for you or I will be streaming this tomorrow or something else which I will figure out tomorrow so again thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe